Feminist Creativers presents a word for every generation that knows no fashion. The late Nelson Holitlatla Mandela, the statesman of South Africa, once said those words after climbing a great hill. One finds that there are many hills to climb. I want to set anchor on these words as we cap off the series Mountain Top Experiences for 2021. I, I would want to appreciate that 2021 has been a heel for most of us. As nations, some economies are tanking. Even as companies and corporates, we have had our heels to climb. As families, as individuals, we have had all these heels to climb. As we come to the end of 2021, the heels of 2022 are beginning to break the eastern sky. And indeed, we can come to the conclusion there are still many more hills to climb. We should never come to the conclusion. No more climbing. That's a never. That's a no, no, no. That should never be our position at any point. But as we come to the end of 2021, I want us to go back to the words of Nelson and draw these five points. A point number one. You want to make final decisions after climbing. Only then can you reach precise decisions. No wonder he says, after climbing a great hill, you don't want to be making decisions when you're at the foot of the hill. They are based on conjecture. You cannot just make decisions when you're halfway up the hill. They are based on an assumption. But make them when you have made it to the hilltop. What happens when you're at the hilltop? You're going to see more. But there are certain assumptions that we are making. You must have climbed a hill that will give you a vantage position. And to make sure this happens, I hope you've done that in 2021. You want to climb great hills only. The quote says, after climbing a great hill, when you climb knolls, when you reach the top of a knoll, you still cannot see the many other hills around you. You may still have another hill in front of you. You may have many more behind you. You're still in a valley. In spite of having climbed a hill, climb the greatest of them all. Because when you are at the top of a great hill, your vantage position will change your viewpoint. It will change your appreciation and mindset as far as views are concerned and issues of life are concerned. If you aimed too low in 2021, you have already started to fail towards 2022. Make sure this time around, you pick a great hill. And a point number three, you're going to notice that climbing hills has a benefit and the benefit is to one. It says one finds when we climb hills. Those who remain at the foot of the hill cannot talk of the experience of what it is like to be at the top of the hill. They can only retell the experience of those who have climbed the hills. Only those who climb hills find. You will only find when you have been to the top of the hill. You will only find when you have experienced it for yourself. You will draw conclusions when you have seen it for yourself. One finds. I hope you are a finder as the year 2021 comes to an end. And point number four. You're also going to notice this. One finds, what do we find? That there are many more hills to climb. This now becomes a mindset issue. For one who takes climbing as being cumbersome, for one who takes climbing as being a bother, for one who takes climbing as being a stressor, more hills to climb simply means more arduous work. And as a result, they become despondent. They become discouraged. When will the climbing end? This is one attitude, the defeatist attitude. Those who say it cannot be done, it is pointless, it is worthless. But for those who have a positive attitude, for those who are in the habit and in the uh, mindset of conquering the unconquerable, they see a variety. They see a, 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 an expanse experience that they can enjoy. For they see hills on the left, they see hills on the right. They see hills in front of them, they see hills behind them. And they say, this is a variety. All these are hills to be conquered. All these are experiences. 
that are novel, that have not been tasted by anyone, they are mine to take. This is the attitude that we need to have. When we look at those hills, we must say, there is one more experience to pocket. There is one more lesson to learn. There is one more area to improve as we go into 2022. As we have come through all these mountaintop experiences, take time to look for the next target and where shall we go from here? Some of us still have uh, a, a hill that is academic in nature. We still have to climb that one. Some of us still have a hill that we have to climb. It is a social one. There's some of us have a hill that we still have to climb. It is a financial one and above all. Some of us have even failed to finish the hills of a spiritual nature. We still have a lot of hills to climb. As we climb these hills, we want to take note where we have fallen in 2021, where we had a hard time in 2021, as we have made it to the mountain tops with our heads above the water. We are over uh, zero point. Now we are looking forward to the next level. I want to encourage you and pick from one more statesman. His name was the Apostle Paul. He writes to the Philippians and he is at chapter 4, the verses 8. And listen to this quote that I want to leave with you. It reads as follows. I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me for the last time. I can do all things because of Christ who strengthens me. I can do nothing without him. The strength I have it is because he's with me. The strength that I have, it is because he has made it possible I operate through him. The strength I have, it is because of him and him alone. This strength we need to pray for. Our heads are bowed and we pray. Dear Lord, in the heavens above, we have one more mountain to climb. Before we get to the mountain top, we'll have to pass through the valleys. The Lord of the valleys is still God of the mountains. May you be with us as we go into this mountain 2022 and see us to the mountain top. And dear Lord, we know that strength is with you. Strength is through you. Strength is because of you. And how we pray, dear Lord, that you hold us by thy right hand and lead us to the mountain tops. This has been our prayer. Thank you, dear Lord, for 2021. May you see us through into 2022. In Jesus' name we pray and we ask, Amen.